Friends, I am beginning a series of messages from today, which I want to name as fathers and sons. Because every human being we know is either a father or associated with a father. There are many fathers in the midst of us. We all have fathers in our houses. And some of us, we are already fathers. And every young man you see is preparing himself to be a father. Even a small boy who is running around the house will be a future father. He will beget children. And the truth is this, every woman whom you see has a father. Otherwise, how she is here? And she is going to be married to a father of her children. And she is going to bring forth, beget fathers. So somewhere I have understood why God said, I am your father. In fact, God has revealed himself to us human beings through so many prophets. Prophets have come and they have said about God. One prophet has said, our God is our protection. One prophet said, yes, our God is our doctor. One prophet said, our God is our victory. One prophet said, our God is righteousness. One prophet said, our God is peace. There are so many prophets who had come and said so many things about God, which were called as revelations of God. Okay. But the greatest revelation of all the revelations of God is told to us by his own son, Jesus Christ, who came in this world to reveal one thing to us. That is our God is our father. I think the greatest revelation of God is God is a father. God is not a distant entity. God is not someone, you know, whom you can just relate with. But God is someone whom you can relate with as a father, as a son relating to a father. So one of the supreme relationships, which is, which God cherishes and every relationship is beautiful. The relationship between friends, between relatives, everything is beautiful. Relations between husband and wife and even mothers and sons, mothers and daughters is also beautiful. But there is something which is very unique and which is very profound, more profound than any other relationship is your father-son relationship. There are two relationships which are, which are very profound. One is father-son relationship and a husband-wife relationship. These are the two relationships in the Bible, which is very, very profound. Okay. So I want to share much of my learnings for the past 30 years. Some of the learnings I did was instantaneous. Sometimes it took me time to learn. For example, there are truths which I had to wait for 30 years for me to learn. <clears throat> you know, learning is a very difficult process for every one of us. Sometimes it is easy. Sometimes it is difficult. Nothing wrong, but God is good to make us learn those rare, beautiful lessons of life so that we can be successful in our lives. I want to share three instances where I learned so much about fatherhood. Okay. The first instant was this. When I became a father, yes, I and my wife, we were expecting a baby. For nine months, we knew that the baby is on its way. And on the day my wife got admitted in the hospital, I and my dad, my father-in-law, whom I call as my dad, we were standing outside the ward and we were keenly listening for the baby sound. And sometimes, you know, babies cry. So immediately we used to look at each other and say, the hey, baby is born. Then later we found out the baby is yet to arrive. And at last my son was born. And uh, sometime later, they came and gave my son in my hands. I tell you, one of the greatest moments of my life was that when I knew I am a father today. Okay? It was an irrevocable thing which came upon me. 
I understood what it goes on, what it goes along when you say I have become a father. It just blew me off and uh, I became another man on that day when I knew that I am a father. Because till that day I was thinking I was a young man. Okay, That day I understood the office changed. I had an office of a son. I had an office of a husband. That day, God gave me an office of a father. That is one of the greatest moments where I learned much about fatherhood. The second moment I learned, the second uh, incident where I learned much about fatherhood is when my own daddy passed away. Okay, When I lost my dad, that was one time where I really realized the value of a father. Okay, uh, in Tamil, there is a proverb which says, Nilarin Arumai, Vayilaka Ponal Tantari. In English, if I say that, you will know the value of a shade only when you step into the sunlight. Really, you, know, you will not understand. When your father is around, you will not understand the value of a father. You will understand the value of a father. You can understand. I don't say it is not possible. But when your fa father really dies and uh, he passes away from this world, I tell you, that type of an experience will give a, a very deeper and a great understanding of the value of a father. In fact, there are many sons who regret for their misbehaviors with my dear dad on their deathbed with their dad. That's what I have understood. I have seen many sons weeping bitterly. Because, you know, on the day when your dad dies, let me tell you this, you will, you will know that the shade has left you. There is a shade which has left you. And that too, if your dad is a godly dad, like my own dad, you will feel it much more. The dad is a man of God. That is something which teaches us so much. So always understand that if your dad is alive, you, you have a shade above. It is a God-given shade. And it's very important and it is very vital for your well-being. You need to enjoy that. You need to cherish it. You need to value it. You need to honor your dad and honor your mummy also. And uh, see that you you don't allow them to pass on without your your honor, your service, your goodness, your kindness for your dad because it's very important. The third instant, instant uh, where I learned about fatherhood is when I was a young man and uh, my pastor gave me the tape of a man of God called Derek Chris. Now he talked about fatherhood of God. He has also talked about a father. That was one of the times where I learned I'm a father. Yes, I was a young man. I was unmarried. I was uh, I was working in a college as a physics lecturer in Tamil Nadu, Tiruchirappalli. At that time, I caught hold of uh, this valuable uh, tape given to me by my pastor, Pastor Victor Nyanaraj. I still thank uh, my pastor for that. He's, he has gone to be with the Lord, but he has blessed me a lot as a spiritual father. He has directed me, counseled me, spent time with me, talking to me. You know, it was, I think, uh, it was a favor of God. So I want to say something, you know, learning. I have learned about fatherhood in those days. Then I understood that you need not be married to be a father. You can birth children even before your marriage. So I started to bring many to Jesus and many to life. We all know that experiences teach us and uh, listenings also teach us. Okay, About fatherhood, I had many experiences. and uh, Now with this, I want to conclude but I want to give you a homework I want each one of you to go home and uh, take my book money sex power 
and take chapter 4 and uh, read it. Now, I want you, every one of you to read it because it is yeah, one of the greatest chapter written by your son about his daddy. Okay? I want you to read that and enjoy the value. Proverbs chapter 4. If you have a Bible with you, take the book of Proverbs, read chapter 4. Uh, in fact, uh, David and Solomon was a very good father-son pair in the Bible. Okay. Uh, David was a natural father as well as a spiritual father to Solomon. It is a very beautiful thing which you need to look into the Bible to really understand what I say. And Solomon is writing about his own daddy. Many things, okay? Now, you, I want you to read it and uh, try to understand and uh, glean from that book, that chapter 4, so that it will be a blessing to you. May the Lord bless you. Let me pray with you. Father, I thank you, Lord, for this time. I thank you, Lord, for this beautiful time. Where you are teaching us about Father and Son and every other people around. Lord, I pray for everyone who is joining in this series. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that there will be a, there will be a great victory which will come upon every one of us in our private lives, in our family lives, even in our social life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.